Coming up in this hour of weather underground, a weekend rain and snow throws generally across sections of New England as temperatures have stayed in those low to mid 30s. And for a lot of spots, we're just above the freezing mark. So over the last 24 hours, here's how much has come down. There have been snow accumulations, mainly in northern sections of New York and New England. But getting close to the Boston metro area, you can see some pockets of northern and northeastern uh, Massachusetts have picked up five to eight inches of snow already. Now, snow continues to fall but we're not going to see that much more in addition to what's already fallen. Look at all the storm reports over the last 24 hours. The snowflake icons take it over all the states across the Northeast. Winter weather advisories into Southwest New York, Northwest PA, and then we still have our winter storm warnings and advisories for parts of New England. So you can see everybody outside the Boston metro area under that advisory. And then we've got the warnings from Concord to Portland up towards Bangor, Maine. Snow to come, as I mentioned, not that much left. So uh, most areas are going to see less than an inch, some one to three inch totals up there in the southern parts of Vermont. This is not uh, going to be a big hitter for the rest of the day. Water vapor imagery showing all that moisture. You can see the drier air off towards the south and that dip in the jet stream. Of course, snow uh, where we've got the colder air. So the cooler air has filtered into the region. We've got temps in the mid 30s in Pittsburgh, 38 in Cleveland. Again, coming on the heels of yesterday's storms. Now it's snowing. It's a uh, cold rain in Albany, New York, 36 with rain showers. Boston 34 with snow, but again, those temperatures in the mid 30s are keeping the uh, roads in check in terms of generally them being wet. I think we'll watch for some slick spots on bridges and overpasses. And Mike here, as we get towards the late day drive time, you can see areas around and north of Boston in particular would be spots where we could see some issues on the road. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on another storm moving in and we're already focused in on the models. Some similarities, some disagreements. Here's the GFS model. And yet again, it's set up to be an in interior event for the Northeast, really northern New England. We can see some snow advance closer to Boston, New York, but really doesn't look like much. What the GFS is forecasting is a heavier stretch of snow focused across parts of Oklahoma, Texas, uh, so the South Central and even sections of Missouri. But when we look at the European model, Mike, there are some big differences in terms of the amounts. However, the track of the storm pretty similar. It is pretty similar. Yeah. You're right. But across the plains, maybe toward the Ozarks here in Arkansas, some chances are headed your way. Obviously, Mike showing us that next snowmaker. Could it bring some wintry weather to parts of the Northeast? Parts will be the key word. Yes, some areas will get it. Other areas continue to wait. Our storm system uh, that Mike just mentioned begins to move northeast as we head into the weekend or through the weekend. Colder air pulled off towards the south. And as we head into the late weekend and start of the new week, we will see some wintry weather through parts of the mid-Atlantic and parts of the northeast. Rain changing to snow for the Ohio Valley as well as the Appalachians. And then rain and wind along the coast. So you're just going to deal with one of those real yuck Mondays across the area. Interior northeastern spots like this past system, Iggy, you'll continue to see snow chances and accumulating snow. Snowfall totals around the Albany area, you're going to be a tricky spot. So you can see as we head up into the area, plenty of uh, one to three and three to five inch totals. I think you head a little north of Albany, and that's where we get some of those five to eight inch totals. Uh, one to three inches around Cleveland and western Pennsylvania, western New York, even the Detroit area. And then once again, the highest amounts, those eight to 12 inch totals, likely for southern Vermont. Vermont, New Hampshire into parts of Maine. So it could again be a significant event for those areas, whereas the I-95 corridor, a place like New York, shut out from the snowfall. Here is a uh, Sunday morning, rather. We start things up watching the Ohio Valley, watching parts of the Mid-Atlantic for rain, snow into parts of Ohio, western PA, snow overspreading the northeast as we move through the afternoon and evening hours on Sunday. But again, you can see Boston to New York to Baltimore to D.C. It is rain that will be falling. The rain snow line gets close at times to Boston, but I do think more so than Iggy, this is going to stay farther to the north and west of the metro area. We'll continue to see the snow showers into Monday morning for our New England states, New York, interior sections of Pennsylvania before the system moves out Monday evening. Mike? You know, on the south side of all that, it's not going to... You know, while they've gotten a lot of attention, and rightfully so, there's other parts of New York State that are running below average, and fairly significantly, we look at Syracuse, New York, there's nothing out there on the quad, right? No snow, no piles of snow, no dirty snow. It's unusual. Now, January by far, or on average, would be the snowiest month, but not by far. You can see December on average is a snowy month, but then February, March, even the month of April, we pick up snow. So all hope is not lost for the queues. However, 
we're certainly running behind and there's not much coming. There is some coming, but not a ton coming before we finish off the month of January. Interior Northeast City. So let's give you guys a little love. Pittsburgh running below average by almost a foot. Binghamton over a foot below average. Burlington, Vermont, nearly a foot and a half below average. Rochester, New York, 35 inches roughly below average. So it has been a deficit to say the least there in Monroe County. And then in Onondaga County, Syracuse running 41 inches below average. So it's been interesting because Rochester and Syracuse, they're both in that golden snowball award and Buffalo's, I mean, it's, they've got it right this year and we're just not getting anything else. That lake effect was set up there for Western New York, whereas other lake effect areas, Rochester and especially Syracuse, Oswego, haven't seen quite as much. Now, over the next seven days, that system Mike was tracking and into next week, we do have chances coming. And so around Syracuse, I think five to eight inches is likely, uh, some eight to 12 inch totals as well. And even north of Syracuse, I think we could get over a foot for some of those areas. Syracuse has a few chances. We're going to start with rain on Sunday. That'll change over to snow. Snow showers continue on Monday. We'll again have that opportunity for snow. The third system, so we had Iggy. We've got system number two this weekend and early next week. And then midweek, system number three, very likely to bring us our best shot of accumulating snow. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you've got snow showers coming your way on Sunday into Monday morning. Wednesday, it's going to be a mix of rain and snow there in western Pennsylvania. And we'll watch for those temperatures very chilly for the end of next week. So that had us thinking, are you mad? How would you rank your winter so far for the air of the South? So dog owners, it's going to be a tough weekend to get them to go outside, right? Today, we've got some rain showers in Houston, but with our disturbance moving east over the weekend, of course, that flow of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, a lot of one to two inch totals coming in across sections of the South between tonight and Monday morning. So a little bit earlier in the weekend for the spots farther west, a little later in the weekend for the spots farther east. And by the way, could even see some areas that exceed two inches. I don't think we'll see a ton of them, but there will be some areas. And this comes on the heels of a lot of wet weather that we've seen. Since the start of the month, you can see plenty of totals in that five to eight inch range. That's the area shaded in the orange, even some eight to 12 inch totals. Now, obviously nothing like what we saw in California, but the ground here also saturated and we're going to add a little bit more wet weather in. So flash flooding concerns in play tomorrow through Sunday morning, looking at the Gulf Coast all the way up into North Georgia, upstate South Carolina, even northern sections of Alabama. And as far west as Jacksonville, Savannah, up into the low country of South Carolina. We also watch for severe thunderstorms. Give you another look at that. This is Sunday possible. Not looking at a widespread outbreak, a lot of activity, but at least some thunderstorms that could turn severe. Here's the timing. Saturday, we've got areas off to the west and then overspreading much of the southeast by late Saturday, early Sunday. Dr. Nan? And Alex, that's... All right, we are back with another round of wonderful words. If you watched last hour, Mike and Alex challenged each other to guess different weather-themed words. Now, Alex is in the lead, guessing correctly 14 times to that Mike's That just means I'm eight. a bad, I'm a bad <laughs> well today. Right, quick reminder of the rules. Alex, you're going to pick the first category, and Mike, you'll have 45 seconds to get her to guess each <laughs> word. Okay. And at the end of the round, we'll switch, okay? okay. So, we have... Some interesting categories mm -hmm. still left. We got monsoon. Okay. We got spring. We also have another batch of hurricane words, and we have a special category, weather in play. All right, let's do um, monsoon. Let's get it over. Okay, Mike. <laughs> okay. Monsoon scares me. Okay. Here we go. 45 Ooh. seconds, seven Ooh. words. Go. This is very dry, and it looks like a tornado. A dust devil. Um, this is something that is tiny and it um, quickly rushes out of the bottom of a thunderstorm. Microburst. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of another word for saturation. Um, um, like um, one of, uh, it's not sheer lift or instability, it's... Moisture. Mm -hmm. um, this is just a, a um, in the southwest, it's just what it's like there. It's a... It, oh, yes, Dry but, heat. Um, what's the, what's the mm. landscape? It's a... Desert. Oh. Um, uh, oh, where, what's the country besides the United States most associated with, most associated with the monsoon? Um, not, India. Yes. Yes. Um, Time is up. But was, very I well that done. That was going to be a hard one, so we had Good to get one. it. Good one. Five of them in. Did not get debris flow or thermal low. Oh, those That's are tough okay. ones, Mike. Good job. Though. All right, Mike, which category would you like uh, to guess? Spring, hurricane, or weather in play? I'm going to go 
Spring. All right. We will see if spring has sprung right. with Alex's okay. clues. Okay. Here we go. Uh, wake up and smell the roses. Coffee. The, they're a, no, no. they're a type of roses are a type of flower. Mm -hmm. uh, this comes out of thunderstorms. It's one of the things they can Rain, be worn hail. on. Rain, yep. uh, This would be uh, the. It's not quite a tornado. The circulation doesn't reach the ground, but people Funnel spot clouds. these. Um, you are going to wear these when the weather gets warmer. They're like pants, but less length. <laughs> Capri? No, um, uh, shorts. Even, yes. <laughs> 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 <This> <laughs> you, can, you can get these out of a thunderstorm. They're very similar Wind to gusts. what Go. I just guessed. Uh, but it's a different. Tornado. Uh, no, it Tornado. would be the uh, funnel cloud. cold air rolls uh, out from it. Uh, and time is up. First. Those were tough too. These are tough, man. All right, Alex. All right. We have two categories left: weather and play, and hurricane. Mm, I'll do hurricane again. All right. Although I should have you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, yeah, my favorite category we once again. This. I made these words up myself. All right. Oh boy, okay. Look out. Oh God. 45 seconds, go. <laughs> All right, this is the Hurricane Center puts this forecast out. It's the shape of a cone. Um, not your not your ears, not your nose. Eye. Yes. Um, this is, um, oh, it's it's just a little um, perturbation in the atmosphere. Tropical before, wave. There you go. Very good. Um, the two people that, that are named for the scale. Sapper Simpson. Um, when you have to leave right away. Evacuate. Yep. Um, you need to check up on this to make sure that your home is covered. Insurance. Yes. But, uh, your home kind. insurance, We're, flood insurance. Yes. Um, this is the stuff that goes... Um, away from, say, like a, a, a thunderstorm, it, it's a, a gust wind time. gust. Wind gust, it comes out of it. Uh, out, out, out. Uh, <laughs> can't say out. <laughs> <laughs> but nice it. job, six out oh, of seven. Out All right, we have okay. weather right. in play. All right, weather in play, last category. Huh? Alex, you are giving now. Okay. The, these words have anything to do with the cities where the games are played Perfect. this weekend. Here we go. I think this guy has swag. Uh, we, Joe Burrow. Yes. Um, this is where Buffalo, New York, it, they are, it's Western partly responsible for all of their snow. Lake effect snow. It's because Lake, of... Here, Lake Erie. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is when the wind blows all the water to one side of the lake. Sash. Yep. Um, the Eagles. Are Philadelphia. Uh, this is the state in which Kansas City Chiefs Missouri. play. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've seen a lot of these events across the uh, state of California. Uh, uh, that atmospheric of rivers. And we have a new graphic that highlights this that's been ongoing across the West. It's Monsoon, not uh, uh, drought. <laughs> but um, it is it's, what kind of that? It's uh, bigger. Uh, mega drop. Yes. Very well done. Seven out of seven on weather and play. Good <laughs> job, guys. Nice job.